Well, Chris Colfer has won a Golden Globe, been on the Time 100 list and sold more than six million books in his Land of Stories series. Wow, and now he's ready for his magic moment with his latest book, A Tale of Magic, and we are so excited to have him here with us now. Welcome back. Thanks for having me. Yeah, good to see this you. This is your 15th book? I know. Does it's, that shock you? Um, Yes, it does. <laughs> yeah, it, it all kind of, because I, I, I think I lose a little bit of sanity with each book that I write. So. <laughs> So You're I'm just holding on right now. Hold on, whatever, whatever sanity I have left. Right? But you started when you were really young. You started when you were 15. I started, yeah, 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 even younger than that. I think I, I started writing the my first series, the Land of Story series, when I was in elementary school. Oh um, my gosh. And uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm glad I held on to that because it's yeah. been a it's been a real, really good investment for me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. And so this is um, it's a prequel to the Land of Stories collection, yes. Yes. but it's a brand new series. Brand new. You do not have to have any knowledge of the Land of Stories series whatsoever. Uh, if you like, if you like the land stories, then you'll really, really enjoy a tale yeah. of magic. Okay. But uh, you do not have to have any prior knowledge. Yeah. So how was writing this book different than? Was it nice to kind of have a new, a brand new series to work on? It was. Yeah. It was supposed to be a very easy uh, task for me. It was, it was just, <laughs> you know, oh, I, I was going to call it the land before stories or you yeah. know something cheesy right. like that, and you know, just collect a nice paycheck. But um, I just, I couldn't, just, I couldn't just half, half ass it. Yeah. I, I really had to. Um, uh, you know, with the way the world is in, uh, the, you know, the condition that the world's in these days, I, I, I had to write something um, to encourage young people out there. Yeah, um, yeah. And so uh, it, it's very, it's very much uh, a story about oppression and overcoming prejudice. And women um, can't read in this. Women can't read. Yeah, yeah. no, it takes place in a. In a but they're not allowed to read. Yeah, yeah. Where women are, are so oppressed they legally can't read. Wow. Um, yeah, I was, I was, I was raised by some very strong women, and uh, my demographic is 90% young girls. Yeah. Um, and they have just, they have been. They have been supporting me from the very, very beginning. So um, if I could give them an ounce of the courage they've given me, um, yeah. I can die a happy author. Yeah. So you're empowering young young girls. Young who girls and uh, and um, and I think I think you always if you, if you aim for empowering young girls, you also empower you young the world. Too. That's kind of how it happens. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. Just, so yeah, what's the, the effect. what's the writing process for mm -hmm. you? I mean, are you you know in slippers mm -hmm. and sitting out on a balcony? Do oh, yeah. you Are you in a in a room? Like, what's the process? It's it's more of a cry for help than a process. <laughs> Um, yeah, I know. It's, it's, People, it's, writing is hard. It's tough. It's yeah. tough. Yeah, it's um, like I said, you lose sanity uh, yeah. every yeah. time you get published. But uh, yeah, no, I'm usually in, in, in pajamas and slippers. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, with, with this one, uh, with, with, with the Tale of Magic, I, I I know it's the best book that I've written because it almost killed me to, to write. And yeah. with this one, like like I said earlier, talking about those themes of, of oppression and prejudice, I'd get so angry. Yeah. I get so angry at, at, at the world, you know, because yeah. I because I felt like I had to write about these things that yeah. I I would just get up from my computer and walk away and. Wow. And do something else. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know you're going on a book tour. Mm -hmm. Going on a book tour. Yeah. Yes. And in the, in the past, I know a lot of fans have come in costumes mm -hmm. and everything. Do you expect that for this one? As I well? hope so. That makes me yeah. so happy when really? they dress up as their favorite character. Yeah. So yeah. I, I hope so. I hope to see more of that. Yeah. Right. And it must be fun, too, to be able to connect with your fans on that level when you do the book tours. I mean, I, th I imagine mm -hmm. it's kind of a hard thing to do to sit there and just yeah. keep yeah. signing books away. But it is, yeah. There's got to be something special about it, too. Oh, yeah. Because you, you see these kids, the light in their eyes and, and just yeah. the curiosity. Yeah. And, and, and they want to talk to you about something that they've read you know it's it's I, I, I get teased a lot because I don't really I don't really act anymore I, I, I kind of focus on writing but I think if anyone saw what I saw saw these kids yeah, wanting to talk yeah, to me about yeah. you know, talking to me about my characters as if they're real people yeah, I, I think that's people, satisfactory yeah they saw that they'd never tease me again yeah it's worth all that work it is, it is. sacrifice <laughs> <laughs> sorry well you can pick up a tale of magic everywhere tomorrow Chris great to have you here yeah, congratulations thank you. thank you so much